feels really good, especially since we're hosting this meet. The crowd really fired me up to go get that gold. Yeah. Um, ever since 2017, when I got two silvers, this has kind of been on my mind to get that gold. It's kind of a redemption for me. Yeah. Sir, was there any added pressure of um, swimming? Or do, do you see um, that as uh, advantage? Uh, I would say it was more of an advantage because I went out pretty fast, so I kind of relied on the crowd to give me that energy to just finish the race and then just get my hand on the wall first. Yeah. James, I saw some uh, videos that you were emotional <laughs> after that. Uh, yeah. You, you won uh -huh. the, the game. Can you yeah. tell us some more about it? Yeah, so I'm a pretty quiet person. So um, actually, the reason why I started swimming for the Philippines was my grandparents, when I was six years old, it's just, they told me to never forget where I came from. So um, they always wanted me to represent the Philippines on the international stage. And so this was for them because they're no longer with us today. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, to be a professional swimming? Um, nobody really. Um, my mom just wanted all her kids to be able to know how to swim and to be water safe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Your dad said yesterday that you gave up all the other sports mm -hmm. to focus on swimming. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so swimming, that was uh, the reason why I went to Cal Poly, because I got a swimming scholarship. So swimming was the one I guess I was best at because that's where I went to school for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So winning the gold medal, uh, are you mm -hmm. still going to continue swimming for the Philippines, or um, is there a sense of fulfillment after winning? Uh, this one might be a hard one to beat because it's at home and can't get be really better than that. And then these world-class facilities are just truly amazing. Um, I'm, I'm just going to take it day by day and see if I still enjoy the sport. And the day when I don't like it anymore will, will be when I stop. Mm -hmm. James, yeah. message for the Filipino fans mm -hmm. the coming game on Sunday. Yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for all your support. and. Just you guys cheering just really fires up the whole team, and thanks again for all the support. Do you have any advice for your teammates who are also aspiring mm -hmm. for a goal? Yeah, I would just say just enjoy the moment and have fun, and the crowd is amazing, and they'll support you all the way no matter what happens. What's next yeah. for you? Do you, do you plan to go, or go to the Olympics in 2020? Is that in one of your goals? Yeah, as a swimmer, always the goal is to qualify for the Olympics, but I'll have to hit the qualifying time first, so I'll have about till June to hit the qualifying times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. James. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, your parents also told that there are a lot of little kids passing you. Yeah, absolutely. They inspire me because I, I was just like a normal swimmer, just like everyone else, and I know what it's like to be in their position to look up to the older swimmers. So, just remind me of when I was a young swimmer as well. Could you tell us what kind of messages you receive from those little kids, little swimmers? Yeah. Um, they just um, they just congratulate me or they'll ask me some tips or what to do if they're feeling sick for practice or just things like that. Yeah, it just means a lot. 